You guys start right here, bringing you a 2v2 today. We are on Oust outskirts, playing for today's spawning in the north. We have Arvik as the US forces, and his loadout is mechanized. Airborne and armor company teaming up with him is Guard 2707, who has commandos, tactical support, and mobile assault as Brits. In the south here we have Diane Kruger as OKW who has Special Operations, Overwatch, and Luftwaffe Ground Forces. Teaming up with him is First Korea Power. Things I see who has Blitzkrieg, Mechanized Assault, squad ready for and Jaeger Armor. So these are both arranged teams, Prosperous and Artovic around rank 30 arranged team. Creep Power and Dian Kruger haven't made their placement matches as Axis yet, but they are rank 12 arranged team as allies. So it should be a pretty high level match here. Engagement here, Stupani is closing. Dropping model on approach, it's about as good as you can expect from Red Echelon. I've been trying to make their way to the heavy cover, but Stupani is. no, oh, briefly stops. Here comes a second squad rifle, and Stupani is have to get out of there now. He's gonna try and inflict a bit more damage on retreat, do a little bit of body blocking there. Nice work from Artovic. Shooting at that squad behind the heavy cover, but there is a universal carrier. Whoa, it just shredded that. G42, which moved behind the heavy cover, but still taking big damage. So it looks like allies are going to get. Double fuel early. Do we have a sniper coming up for career power? Which is curious. Since he is facing against the universal carrier, it's a little bit risky trying to use a sniper. Gonna go for one more greedy after that. Peekaboo on this building. Eyes now moving from the north into the middle. Kruger sending some squads around for targets. Haven't found them yet, but there we go. Rifleman engaging here. Either way, rocky start for the Axis. Poor fuel control and overall poor, en poor engagements for them. Struggling right across the map. So they are more leading towards a double team in the south though, trying to lock down that. We'll go the north for the moment. And cut off as well. Good plan. Sniper like picking a shot right in front of the universal carrier, a little bit risky. Ooh, and it goes down just like that. Yeah, you can't mess around with that universal carry, especially once it gets the Vickers upgrade. Basically just one burst it. Your sniper's trained. Strong on this cutoff. South struggling. We do have a sniper now for Guard 2707 just hitting the field. Still in base at the moment. One extra soldier can be added to infantry squads now. Five man upgrade complete for Guard 2707 as well. Ooh. Big rifle grenade. Does a lot of health damage, but no model kills. 
There's always trouble against Brits because they can just soft retreat. Use the on the field healing. Doesn't really cost them that much. Those kind of rifle grenades. A big push here. A lot of riflemen. Ooh, late retreat. I think he, once he rounds the corner, he should be alright. Stern Pioneer's in close here, doing some big damage. Sendry Nag goes in. And these riflemen. Oh, he's going for the wipe. And he gets it. Two more rifles, and they're both low. Staying up there. This is risky stuff. He could lose another squad on retreat here. Just, yeah, go oh, on, man. He might lose this one as well. Oh, another squad down. They were just so low in health. Don't tell me he's going to lose another one. Going for a little bit of body blocking there. Rifle I think they're going to be alright next to that one on the front, but... <laughs> oh my... Well, that... Could just turn the game around. Losing that many squads in quick succession out of it. Really feeling the heat. Maybe that's going to help turn things around for the Axis who got off to a shaky start. I've seen some Volshing Mega being deployed from Diane Kruger. Do have a uh, a half track coming in out of it as well. And here's two two two. Coming in a little bit late, but you could probably expect that thanks to the poor fuel control. The sniper hasn't revealed itself, so I don't think he got it to try and counter the sniper or anything. He just it's naturally part of his build order. The fact that he's up against five man squads, generally you can uh, surmise that the AC is going to be a bit later if they even go for it at all. So it's kind of the green light to go for a 2 2 2. Or a uh, flame half track. how he can be lethal he's just backpedaling massively to avoid taking damage from it the enemy is overrunning one of our capture points two, 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 back up ready to fight again and he's going after the universal carrier universal carry comes in here for a block on the 222 which wants to continue the chase try and get the sniper now it's a pretty bad burst still on prioritized vehicles oh no Auto cannon's not firing at all. Finally realizes it now, but I think the sniper's going to get away. Oh, he's going all the way into base. This is dicey. It's a bit of machine gun fire there. Sniper trying to get around the corner. Oh, but he gets a sniper kill. Can the 222 escape now? Oh, there it goes. Oh. So overall, I think that's fine, you know. He killed the universal carrier and a sniper. Exchange for 222. Pretty, pretty good value, I'd say. A lot of infantry. What's that? Four Fox Grenadiers as well as a Falsham Jaeger for Dying Kruger. Going for a battle group. So it looks like he's just going to go for a very fast tick. Fresh sniper actually for career power, maybe got that to counter snipe or maybe it's just part of his build, he really wants to use sniper. We do have some commandos deployed from Guard 2707. Can make life tricky with the camouflage with sniper. Speaking of life being tricky, a eh? half track in the north doing some good work. Let's see one Rakitin in his build. Okay, it's a little bit slow heading up there, so I'm going to be able to contribute in this fight. Oh, commanders get close on the sniper. Oh, and they melt it. 
nice use of the commando's camouflage there sneaking up on the sniper moving cover to cover and you wouldn't want to be a sniper this game they've just been, been chopped down left and right oh is that a uh, Tommy grenade there kills a green deer and gets the MG42 oh man career power oh Ooh, a half track gets out of there very close call he's winging another squad of Falsham Jaeger Man. That's a lot of upkeep. Fush and Jaeger are you know, reasonably flexible. At least they can fire on the move. You know, with reasonable accuracy, so you don't have to worry about the pack outs are quite so much. They actually lose to the rifleman there. Does Rockman have double bars or is that just a single one? Just the one bar there. Oshimega were moving for quite a lot of that engagement though. He was moving accuracy penalties. More, there's more than that firing on move penalties. Nice sweeping. Got one bazooka on that re echelon as well. We have an AT gun in the works. Recon playing up for career power. Nexus do seem to be stabilizing a little bit. for the recon plane kill and gets it. Sometimes with the A half track you have to be careful with your positioning. Oh, put that on of course. Big push here from Diane Kruger. Oh, we're kidding from the north. Oh, he gets out. Pop hold fire there, right? But it looks like it only acts on one of the guns. Just trying to disappear into the fog more quickly, but yeah, looks like the whole fire is not capture point is being overrun. Quickly implemented there. Get ready. Get ready. The nice rough grenade dodge there. This is his own grenade in turn. Ooh! Commando grenade, super close range once again. Machine gun down, commando's going after the grenadiers which are turning tail. So have some base artillery coming in. Meanwhile in the north, this push is starting to run out of steam. For Diane Kruger. Getting forced off. Double rockets now as well, so really looking to kill that A half track. Get that before gets vet three gets that health bonus. That is a dream. Oh, but here comes a second wave of fox grenadiers. Getting trying to sneak in position, but having a hard time. And that one actually gets tagged with some uh, scatter fire and gets revealed from its camouflage, and now it's in trouble going down quick. Gets one shot in. Ooh, and the second one gets the kill. Ryan Kruger finally taking care of the A half track. Suffered a lot of manpower bleed in the process, but the job is done now. Ooh. That's uh, only two kills, but it's been dishing out some. 
health damage. Arvik though is floating quite a lot, needs to start his tech. That major out. Tall and MG42 it is indeed. <laughs> We're losing a capture point. Stolen equipment right here. Oh, P4 for career power. Diane Krug has also got their Schwer up covering this VP. Very standard position. The Schwer on this map. Ooh, a little bit of a crush there. The squad of Tommies could go down here. Reed is on the retreat as well. Not chasing with the P4 though. The squad does go down. So here we lost to MG team. Where was that? Oh, over here, another bundle grenade. The commandos. Rangeable going in there. Volshimjäger. Getting overwhelmed. Cromwell on the field for guard 2707. Machine gun goes down again. Did it have an AT gun around here? Okay, it's a little bit far back. And P4 gets the first shot in here. Cromwell misses the return fire. AT gun moving up. Before not going to chase in for the kill though. Look that safe. I'll try to protect his MG42 it looks like. I'll try and recruit. it. Another push onto the cutoff here for Diane Kruger. I'll find out about that tier 4. Well, you got to be yeah, okay. Very early retreat. Good work from out of it. Could still lose this if he's unlucky. Oh, and with the grenade. Ooh, slightly mistimed. Good idea though from Diane Kruger. Some ES mines down in the middle. Also a nice idea. Panzer 4 also coming. From a different angle, do you have a oh wow double M1s for Artovic, who still hasn't ticked. Maybe he's gonna go for like a double bulldozer strategy with no tick. Double AT gun, double bulldozer. It is, it is tricky to to beat. You do need rocket artillery typically to beat it. Knock out those AT guns. Ooh. Just out of the retreat in time, almost lost the squad anyway. Come back here, he's getting motion. Coming up now. Big push though for career power. Ooh, ooh. Looks like he's not monitoring the middle. Too much shit happening at once here. Trying to bait each other into the uh, respective AT guns. Not quite getting the shots off though. And that is a Panther for Diane Kruger. I was like, what is that pack shooting at? Shooting at the glider over there. It's the regular commando glider, so you can't build any more commanders from it. So, you know, you can reinforce from it, but limited effectiveness. Oh, big push here. Valiant assault. Huge assault. Looks like he's going after the pack out. To, he's got two Rakittens nearby as well. 
on the heels of that pack out and Nisa keep retreating it. Double AT guns get some big hits on the Panther. And here comes the Bulldozer. Uh oh. Oh, this could be disastrous for Diane Kruger. Double Raketon squaring up on the Bulldozer. Bulldozer trying to go for a bit of a crush, but it's quite slow, not very effective at crushing. Probably one's keeping the Panther on its toes. And the Cromwell comes in from the south to help clean up the rest, and maybe a squad of Falshimir could go down here. As well as both of those Rakittens. Ouch. <laughs> Dane Kruger makes a huge push there, and in the end, he just lost it all. Two Rakittens down. He's just a Falshimir recently, and a squad of Falshimir. That was costly. Looks like he just didn't quite have the micro to outmaneuver the AT guns and secure the kill of the bulldozer. Very scary when you're facing off against something like that, but he might have been able to navigate it. That bulldozer came in just in the nick of time. Any later, though, in that pack out, so probably would have. Fell into Diane Kruger's hands, who were stolen their way. Look, okay, no hammer or anvil yet. Radovic now with three AT guns. Has a bit of manpower to spare as well. I hope we haven't seen any assault engineers from. Get some mines down in the north, perhaps. Slow down that panther. A capture point is under attack. You can't play in the air, no. A half track to shoot down this time. Panther ready for another assault. Has to contend with three anti tank guns now, though. It's going to be really tough. Black attack grounds there from Korea Power. Looks like both sides are just looking for holes in your opponent's defense, just testing the lines here and there. Not getting too aggressive. Here comes a Werfer. Okay, after those commandos, looks like he it's two models. Gets one shot in. Another shot. Cromwell shoots the smoke to cover the retreat. Gets out of there. Bulldozer in the middle, but Panther moving that way now himself. A nice dodge of that. Bulldozer shot as well. See, I'm seeing running to a bit of a brick wall here. This machine gun holding the line well. Oh, but he's calling in the mortar cover. That's going to force Korea Power to scatter, reposition, trying to stay out of that white phosphorus and mortar shells. In a big area there, as you can see. that grenade. Luckily this squad's still suppressed so I think they're gonna get out of there alive. Oh, well that's bad news for the allies. It's got an Obers on the field. Look, still floating quite a lot of manpower. Could get one more squad. Same for that bulldozer. It could also put down a cache of some sort as well. Combat 
Another reasonably long range whiff of barrage and doesn't get much done. I think he didn't get any kills with that one at all. And still with two kills on alone. It looks like Artovic actually gonna go for the Jackson this time despite having three anti-tank guns in his position. Acknowledging the fact that it's quite hard to kill the opponent's vehicle if you don't have a vehicle of your own to at least chase them down for one or two shots. A machine gun upgrade on this for Diane Kruger who is a... Uh, some rocket artillery of his own walking Stuka. Whoa, a flat panzer for career power. That is very unusual. Probably a very bad idea overall. I like the unless yeah, this doesn't make sense. This stage in the game we get a flat panzer. So much safer to go for a panzer four. Especially when you don't really need the anti-air at all. Not that the flak pants is particularly good anti-air either. Just a very unusual pick. So munitions cache there, fuel cache for Artovic finally spending that manpower float. Scouting the terrain. Got two soon soon. Does have quite a lot of munitions, and so is Hadovic. Both of them could drop the hammer with the uh, off map artillery. Not worth for coming in. Must be targeting this. A lot of health damage once again, but I think only two model kills. Oh, not even two, just one, one kill. Ooh, that was slightly juicier. First shot from the walking Stuka getting four. Ooh. Who goes a? It's a scalp there. That pen's uh, trying to avoid getting snared here. Bit of hit and run. Second, no, oh, that's a comet. Pack's lining up some shots on it. And 240 mil artillery called in on the tier 4 tech. Think he lost a uh, model from, or a bar from one of his squads. Okay, ooh, these Obers in the back line clearing out a few of these AT guns. Don't think the 240mm alone is going to be able to kill that tech structure. Ooh! Oh, Obers down and they dropped the MG34. Ooh, is that another kill for the bulldozer? That thing's gone off. Steals are on the rear echelon. Not the ideal squad for that. Diane Kruger really suffering. Losing those over super costly. Ooh, ooh. What was that? Oh man, he doesn't even stick around to try to get the kill with the flak panzer. Oh, that squad gets away. I can't believe that. Pops the smoke as well to help cover the commando's retreat. Enemy causing trouble. Try to take one of our points. Career power on the charge here though. Bring out the whiffer. And the packs. Looks like that was just regular smoke, not white phosphorus. Not get one yet. 
Another big assault here from Diane Kruger and the bulldozers making them pay for it. Decrease one of the AT guns again. Tier 4 tech in trouble, taking some Jackson fire. No munitions for a major artillery though. Will the tier 4 tech survive? It looks like it will. He's got the stern pioneers out there doing some repairs. Squad reveals the kitten on retreat. Nice. There was an attack ground there. The enemy is overrunning. Good crew just got blanked out. Targeting the pack out so there. D cruiser. Look at this multi purpose squad. LMG, Bazooka, and Minesweeper. Tool for every job. Oh, Panther could be in trouble here. Oh, man. That was uh, kind of unlucky. Everything penetrating on the Panther and everything hitting super long range. Panther goes down. Dying Kruger now. Really struggling. Fresh Jagpanzer though, just in the field now. If he had the Panther as well, he'd really be able to put some pressure on this Jackson. Eyes are quite low on VPs though. 186 remaining for them. Double teaming from the allies coming after this flak panzer. Back in P4 responding. Cromwell war speeding out of there though. Oh, could he get some reverse kills here? Bazooka down. Picks the bazooka back up. out of there. Ooh. Those are still stacking up the kills. 27 now. Yagpans are returning fire though. Ooh. Squad down. Out of it. A bit too much to micro right now. Looking stupid coming in once again. After these riflemen in the middle. That's some big damage to the bulldozer as well. P4 blitzing in, looking for the kill on the bulldozer, but the double Jackson's moving up. P4 now trying to blitz out, but that's just way too much anti-tank. Cromwell well, thinking about a flank here. Not anymore. Jackson's, oh, could be going in. They were also thinking about going after the Yagpan, so do we have a mine here on the flank? And now we've got a Centaur to shoot down those recon planes. Ooh. Get the squad, but get some more model with that plane crash. We've lost an anti-tank gun. Oh, Werfer gets the kill on the uh, kitten over here. It's all of a sudden got 14 kills. This last barrage or two must have been really effective. Double kitten's creeping up. He's going after kill on the Jackson. Oh, but the Rakitin misses the killing blow. Calls in the airborne assault. So it's got these planes that come in that can do some suppressing and anti-infantry. Then the anti-tank strafes after that. The F side of this. Looks like he did not. The plane's getting shot down by the Centaur now. Point 
captured. Oh, double packs in trouble. Now we've got more to cover on the double packs. Oh man, he briefly revealed the Werfer. Be good. Looking Stuka Barrage. And Flak Panther gets out of there alive, so he's got to be pretty happy with that result overall. First career power. That could have gone horribly wrong for him, but didn't lose too much. Just territory. Where did that squad come from? War speeding after it. Doesn't quite get it. Double packs are nearby. This could be the end of the centaur. Oh, misses that shot. Second pack, a little bit slow. In comes some big artillery. That's the big bombs. The air supremacy. And is that the 240 mil as well? This could be devastating for first career power. Centaur in there slicing up these. AT guns. Ooh. Be careful, a bit of friendly fire. Ooh. Meanwhile, no, 240 mil was in the north on the tech truck. That's destroyed with some follow up from the Jacksons. And the Axis are getting bullied here. Trying to finish off the centaur with the attack grounds. Here we go. Another smoke. Oh my god. What is the cooldown on that? Oh, <laughs> he gets it. Major recon pass coming through there. So if we take a look at army sizes now after that hectic battling it's like overall maybe a 25 or 30 lead for the allies so after those two big pushes on either side of the map they're in a really good position Diane Krug actually lost his walking stuka as well. I'm a bit sad I missed out on uh, the action in the north. There's just too much going on at once. Whoa! Oh, Werfer of the... Of the week of the year? That was a huge one. Ten kills in one barrage. It was reasonably long range as well. Oh my goodness. People around, he's got a lot of them now. Jackson's gonna have to be super careful. It's gonna come down to the AT gun positioning. If he keeps using them all together, very susceptible to a flank or like just getting them all killed to two bulldozer shots or something like that when they're super clumped up. It's gonna be interesting. See do these uh red kittens can get the job done. VPs are quickly ticking against the Axis. Oh well, that's an elephant for career power. Serious even heard that fire. Ooh. Big damage. Ooh. Speaking of big damage, squad may go down there. MG34. <laughs> Bulldoze again. Some big hits in here. All these raketons trying to creep after it, but actually getting spotted by a major behind enemy lines. 
lot of shots connecting there. One more blow required to finish off the bulldozer, but he can't get it. He has to retreat. Major artillery coming in. It's out of there. Remember that the bulldozer has a little bit more health than the regular Sherman. Requires five shots to kill instead of four. Let's see the results of that there. That extra little bit of health saving the day. Elephant in the north now. This is going to have to decide where they want to go. <laughs> These vehicle crews. Oh, looks like that. Did he pick up another MG34? Oh my god. <laughs> Major's got one now. <laughs> Elephant asserting its dominance, forcing away the vehicles in the north. Too many squads coming in here. Good barrage. Gets three kills. Double Jacksons lining up on the elephant, getting some big damage, and I think he got close enough for the AT grenade. They're going after the elephant here. Elephant returns fires. Look at all these raketons. One Jackson goes down. Jackson desperately trying to flank in. Here comes the Cromwell from the side as well. Oh! Plane crashes! Elephant goes down! Cromwell goes down. Jackson goes down. Werfer goes down. Everything is dying and in come the Air Supremacy bombs. Oh, and the Rakitans are getting destroyed. Oh, I don't think I've seen that many explosions <laughs> ever in a Co2 all at once. That was crazy. Take a look at army supplies. It's pretty close to even after that. Both sides taking a lot of casualties. Did call in the airborne assault. I don't know if uh, I saw the strafe any tanks or not there. Big loss though is that worth of going down for career power. That was doing so much damage for him. Those last three or so barrages were on point. Oh, nice. A nice dodge. Hands are doing some work in the north. To vet two now, it's got that bonus health, very important. Storm Rakitten goes down there. Flak pans are going to come back in, thanks to that Rakitten going down. Doing some big health damage, not getting that many uh, model kills, but here comes a fresh Jackson. Flak pans are overextending. Still got a lot of raketons, but they're all slightly further up. So Jackson not going to chase him for the kill here. Heavy fighting on the VP, the Major, doing the big damage. Oh, here comes a Sherman coming in here. Got to be careful. Oh, Sherman could be <laughs> going down in the blink of an eye. Was a major artillery, maybe hoping to get some kills, but not going to be. Nice for kitten ambush there. Hands are repaired up super quickly. They've got the mechanized truck as well as two engineers. Pairing up. The cotton coming in. Let's get the flak panzer. Dying Krug, I think he's trying to go for the, the King Tiger. Just about there. Let's use the white phosphorus on the 
pack. A lot of health damage to it. Second Comet. Oh, this could be uh, big trouble for Korea Power with only one anti tank gun to his name. Could get overwhelmed here. Needs these Rakittens to come in and support. So they have other ideas in the north currently. Now they're coming more towards the middle again. Overs. Oh, you overs. Getting out of there. Axis are really struggling to get back onto the field. Even though they were close to level pegging after that massive amount of explosions, the allies have managed to rebuild more quickly, maintain map control more effectively. Following it. Okay, we've got a panther coming in for Korea power. Dying Kruger nearly has the resources for the King Tiger. Oh! One kitten goes down. King Tiger ready. Direct and here we go. King Tiger coming in. Bulldozer taking some big hits. And goes down this time. Rakitten's getting out of there. But Yakpanzer could also go down to the Jackson charging in here. Two Jacksons, in fact. And there it goes. Panther and King Tiger on the field now. Can they get some revenge? Might need the support of those Rakittens again. Because the allies have got a lot of tanks here. Containing the Axis very effectively with them. Might Phosphorus again on the AT gun. Very effective. Look how quickly the health drops. Oh, Panther overextended. Jackson's coming in and just like that. Goes down in the blink of an eye. Here come the Rakittens. Black Panzer in trouble. Kittens. So many targets for them to fire at. Black Panzer goes down. Oh, look at that comet so low, but it gets out of there. Jackson coming in from the side now. But the high velocity armor piercing rounds engaged as well. King Tiger getting attack from multiple angles and the Axis throw in the towel there. Man, what a crazy match. <laughs> so many explosions. This is really action-packed. Great match. Just in the late game, you know, the allies got off to, you know, it was, it was, you know, they, both teams had their moments in the early game, but in the late game it seemed like the Axis getting outnumbered in the armor department and had a lot of trouble pushing back onto the map in the late game as well. Some, you know, really nice Rakitten ambushes, but just seem to be a never-ending swarm of medium tanks from Artovic. Just constantly just flooding the field with Shermans and Jacksons, despite losing quite a few of them. Anyway, that was a really good game. So I'll wrap on that, guys. If you like your game to be cast by me, details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you off the next thrilling installment. Goodbye. Good luck.